So I conclude this uh, uh, few talks uh, on, on top physics uh, with some experimental work. This is an update uh, of work not done by me. I'm representing uh, uh, this group from the Iranian institution that have been working on the uh, search for flavor change in neutral current interactions. And uh, this is one of the this is one of the very interesting things that we can do uh, with the FCCE because it's a flavor change in neutral current, uh, a transition that they are not existing in the standard model. Basically, they are um, forbidden at tree level. And so the prediction from the standard model are very, very small, and it's a very easy way to find uh, beyond the standard model physics uh, in, this, uh, in this kind of machines. Um, so the, um, as, as we can say, as I was discussing with Marcel, this, this decays to favorable change in neutral current are present in several uh, beyond the standard model models, uh, but in this study uh, they have not exploited any specific one. Here there is an example of a SUSI effect, but there's many other models that actually can be studied, as, uh, as we have seen. Um, so, so in this particular is a very experimental approach where there is a simple uh, uh, Lagrangian that just has a, an, effective, uh, an effective approach. And I can, I can say, uh, taking the head of the responsible of the top physics group at FCCE, that there's actually not only this group working on this, there's two more groups, one from Rome and, and uh, another one from France with Benjamin Fuchs, and, and in collaboration with Antonio Saavedra, and uh, uh, so, so there is some work being done. I don't know what the pointer here. No, it's not this one. There is some work being done actually on the on the uh, Lagrange that we can use for this kind of of uh, studies and vertices. So in this case, this is the simplest one that we can imagine, and then you will see a little bit more complex up to the idea of using dimension six operator and allowing even more than one anomalous vertex. So this is work in progress. It was not ready for this workshop. We hoped, but it was not ready. But it's in progress, so I want to advertise that. Um, so as you can see, uh, the the interesting process that we looked. Usually these analyses are done at uh, uh, hadron colliders, looking at the decay vertex of a TT bar production in general. Some analyses are done also with single top, but are clearly hard. While here it becomes very, very interesting to profit of the anomalous vertex of the TZ or gamma uh, Q uh, and have a, a profit of the center of mass energy of the Higgs, longer Higgs run, and so having this kind of diagram where we have a single top in the final state that is accompanied by a, by a quark that could be either a U or a charm. So this makes it quite interesting. Um, and as you can see, then the final lepton can be distinguished between the leptonic decay of the top or the ionic decay of the top. So from the uh, experimental point of view, then this study considers various backgrounds. The study has also been done for different center of mass energies. And so depending on the center of mass energy, you have or not all these backgrounds. So there is the WW production, of course, that is present everywhere. And then when we go to higher massing and you open up the TT bar production, of course, that becomes an important background. And uh, um, my comment to this is that uh, again, this is a work in progress, and this is a workshop, is that in this TT bar background, this is a pure standard model background. In principle, we should have also the addition of the anomalous vertex in that. Um, so apparently, with the analysis, they could remove that, but it needs to be studied. So uh, the, the, the other important thing to note for the rest of the group is that in this, uh, um, uh, iteration of the analysis, uh, the, the signal was generated with MADGRAPH, but the, the important thing is that uh, they've tried to use this Delphes card that we've been put together, trying to uh, take inspiration from the ILD detector and, and some uh, efficiency and performances we found around to, to have a first uh, Delphes card that we can use to do physics studies here. So this is far from being uh, uh, the optimal one for any choice of detector, but it's 
since if you start using Delphes, you see that it's very easy to modify. It's a very good uh, beginning to show that we have something that we can work with for the detector performance. At this moment here, the magnetic field was 50, uh, 5 Tesla, and the analysis being redone with 3 Tesla. The beta gain efficiencies was taken uh, at 80% and 60% to try. There is some work in progress to actually use also a specific charm tag inefficiency that at the moment is not done, but it's important to see how, how much we need for that. Um, uh, so this is just a table of the cross-section, total cross-section for signal and the ground. As you can see, the cross-section for the signal depends on these uh, anomalous couplings. Um, and then you see this background is already the sum of the two backgrounds in the case where you have two. So at 350 and 500, you have also the TT bar component. Otherwise, you have only the W plus jets. Um, so the event selection is quite simple. Uh, another comment we can make here, and then we hope again to improve in the next iteration of the analysis, is that this is a very uh, classical hadron collider kind of analysis. So, so we're seeing already ways of improving uh, actually profiting of the uh, lepton collider final state. Uh, but in this case, it's a, it's a simple requirement on the final state objects. So one, one lepton and two jets. Uh, one of them should be a B, and all these objects should be well separated. Um, and to suppress the background events, there is a cut on the number of jets in the final states uh, to two. Um, so then uh, the top quark is reconstructed, and there is, uh, this is a plot of the event reconstruction where you can see the signal in green, is the, the peaking signal, and then the two background, this is a 350, so you have the TT bar background, that is somewhat reducible there, and the W plus jets. Um, however, you can see that this selection is, uh, is very, very efficient. So then, to further optimize, uh, there is a MVA that maybe at this point is a little bit uh, an overkill, but it uh, was available in the, in the package uh, that the group has. So after this MVA, then they can extract uh, even better uh, signal to background rates, as you can see here. Um, and so at this point, once you have these kind of numbers, you can start extracting limits. So in order to set the upper limits, they've uh, used the CLS method. Uh, so, so the upper limits are translated into limits on the anomalous couplings. And these numbers that you see here actually are with the statistics of a 100 femtobar. That is usually the one quoted by the IELC in general, it's not our statistics. So there is also a number later on that is uh, consistent with, uh, with FCCEE. So these are the numbers that you can see. And the interesting thing is to see the change lowering the beta efficiency. It's more possibly of validation because we don't, I mean, 60% efficiency is actually low. I don't think that we will ever have <laughs> that. But, but the, at least it shows that it goes in the right direction. Uh, as I said, this analysis is also a benchmark to, to validate uh, our simulation and to try to get the handle of actually using a real detector response. So even if it's Delphes, it's better than the generator level smearing. So this is going uh, in the right direction. Um, I want to add, uh, before I go to the final limit, the, uh, the study that is ongoing uh, on the fully hadronic final states. This is from Rome, with uh, Sanjoy Biswas, Margaroli, and Barbara Mele. Um, so again, uh, in, this, in this channel, the B tagging and the CHAM tagging are, of course, even more important. It's a fully hadronic channel, so uh, there is more combinatoric. So they are trying, in fact, to exploit more the CHAM uh, um, in the simulation. And so we hope to see results soon. Um, it seems uh, from the first uh, look uh, that we had, it seems extremely promising uh, given the, the, the clean environment uh, of Na plus C minus collider, more than you would imagine for this kind of low multiplicity events in a, in a Hadron collider. Uh, so this is a comparison with the LHC results where you see, you see a statistics that is of, uh, um, of three Atoban, so it's that's being the one of the FCCE, um, while 350 GV, 100 femtobars seems a bit uh, more ILC-like. So you can see the comparison between the LHC, uh, even high luminosity, and the FCCE. So 
there is clearly orders of magnitude there. Um, and so, so this is uh, the numbers that they have now. I've been asked to, uh, to actually obtain the number with the best uh, statistics that we can have, that is the one, in fact, at 240, where we have a much larger statistics because we have the 10 autobahns, um, and, uh, and actually lower background. So that is the most, uh, the most, interesting, uh, the most interesting configuration, but uh, it's in progress as well. Uh, so we will get that, um, and uh, and the other idea is then to to look at the new uh, changes, modification, suggestion for the detector, and see how we can improve that, and possibly improve the analysis as well. So this is what I had to show you. I'm very thankful for the work that these groups are, are doing because uh, it's it's good to start seeing events simulated and real analysis going on, and so I hope that uh, people continue on this uh, step. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? So Are it's very nice hand? that people are starting using the samples. Yeah. Well, oh, no. Is that the hand? Okay. Question over there? No. Okay, if there are no questions, I'm sure that we will see the results <laughs> next time and so, so Yes, the idea is that maybe for, for Washington to have uh, a better plot but, uh, with all these numbers. Something that can be discussed. Uh, the work is in progress, it's proceeding faster, so it's just that, you know. And an event display, there is the request of an event display. But that would be nice. Uh, the, yeah. the, ah, okay. That, that could be... Could be but important I don't know. for I mean, advertising the activity, maybe to have other people joining. Okay. Very good. So <laughs> we close uh, the morning. Patrick has announced, but before we need to be back at two sharp. It was exactly about that. Yeah. If there is no veto, we could even start earlier, because the earlier we start, the earlier we finish. So we were suggesting with GG to, uh, to start with 15 minutes ahead. Yeah. So 15 to 2, is it okay with everybody? Especially with the first speaker. Yeah, the first speaker, yeah, because we, who is the first speaker, I don't remember. Ah, no, no, no. Anticipate what? 